He is the disgraced former FBI agent who wanted to stop Donald Trump's presidency. And tonight, Peter Strzok is suing both the FBI and the DOJ, alleging that he was unfairly punished, his privacy was violated, and the bureau caved, he believes, to President Trump. Correspondent Mark Meredith has the story for us from Washington tonight. Hi, Mark. Hey, Martha, the FBI fired Peter Strzok in August of 2018. Now, almost a year to the day since his dismissal, Strzok is suing the government. He says his firing was improper and the result of political pressure from President Trump, his political allies in Congress, and the media. The president has repeatedly criticized Strzok both on Twitter and on camera. The criticism stems from text messages Strzok sent to FBI lawyer Lisa Page, whom he was having an affair with. Those texts were released publicly and included Page writing, quote, He's never going to become president, right? Which Strzok responded, no, no, he's not. We'll stop it. And Strzok also t texting, quote, Trump is a disaster. I have no idea how destabilizing his presidency would be. In his lawsuit, Strzok says the release of his text violated his right to privacy. Strzok has also defended his reputation in the past. He says he never let his personal feelings impact his work, including cases involving Hillary Clinton's email servers and Russian interference in the 2016 election. Let me be clear, unequivocally and under oath, not once in my 26 years of defending our nation did my personal opinions impact any official action I took. Strzok also argues there is a double standard when it comes to government employees and political opinions. His lawsuit mentions presidential counselor Kellyanne Conway by name. He says Conway has not been punished for voicing her political opinions. So far, the Justice Department has not responded. Strzok is asking for back pay and damages so far. Martha. Mark, thank you.